I think it would have been, and I know for a fact that it would have happened, and they definitely were wanting to do more crossovers with Atlantis and SG-1 actors. Um, I think the population of the fan base thought if they could just get rid of us, they'd bring Atlantis back. And <laughs> Not you guys, though, right? <laughs> but, indeed, that's actually further from the truth, because if, if our show were more successful, a better chance of, of having more of a budget to do the Atlantis movie that they wanted to do. Um, I know I answered this question a thousand times this weekend, but for any of us wanting to know, they tried very hard to put a movie together. Uh, the, the plan was, now everyone knows MGM is no longer, it's now being run by Spyglass, it's still MGM for all fancy purposes. But uh, <clears throat> Spyglass is not interested in Stargate, and um, so therefore we would not fund the movie. So we had to look, we, as in Brad, had to look for money elsewhere and came very close several times. His plan, from what I understood from the emails and, and conversations we had um, uh, with, with everybody, was he wanted to do two movies, one to finish out our storyline and one an all-star cast that they thought they'd shoot in Hawaii. I don't know why they couldn't get the funding, but they couldn't. And uh, I thought that would have been a really way to sort of close out the series. It, it's, uh, to me, it's really unfortunate that we didn't, that the, the franchise and the producers didn't get the opportunity, given their long track record, to finish out the story.